Okay, bear with me here. First, I want to show you a problem, and then I want to show you how to fix it. So here's the simplest of timelines, and I have a After Effects animation here, which basically just slides in and keys one line and then another line. And then it's going to go for a little while, and I'm just going to, I'm going to pull this up, make it shorter, and then it's going to fade, it, fade out. Okay, simplest of animations, but as is the case quite often, you want to make adjustments. You know, those, these lines are too close together. It could use a shadow. You know, we could probably fix this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle over to the After Effects, and then I'm going to make a couple of changes. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I might uh, increase the line spacing here, uh, the letting, if you will. And maybe I'll reposition this up just a hair. I don't know. It's probably fine. And I've obviously preset that I want the shadow on. I'm going to put a little shadow on. And frankly, I think the opacity, the overall opacity of this needs to be just a touch darker. Okay, so now I have a new version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a render. Now, I want to show you what this does. After Effects does, does you a favor here. When you render to the same folder, it puts this little underscore one. Because if I come back to the final cut, it's called 01 locator. And if I go out to the finder, you see it's called 01 locator. Well, After Effects knows, oh, hey, that's already there. So I'm going to render over it. Now, if I render over it, here's problem number one. I render over it, and this won't take very long. Da, 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 da. Okay, we've all seen this. I'm going to go over here to the finder, and now I have a new version. So there's my original, there's my new one. Okay, if I wanted to bring this into my um, project, I would go into my graphics folder here, and here's my anim renders. So then what do I do? Okay, so uh, the easiest way to do it is to just drag it in from the finder. I drop it right there, and now I have a new version, and I go like that. And probably the smart thing to do is just drag it on here. Now it's longer, so I hit replace from start, and now I have my new version. I don't have to render it really. It's going to slide in. It's going to go key one line. Okay, so that's better. That's the way I want it to look. It's got the little shadow and it's a little further apart. Okay. But there was a bunch of extra steps there. And the extra step was this, that I had to make actually another file. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to undo a couple of steps. I'm going to put my old version back in. And I'm going to delete this guy um, from my project. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to the finder and I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. So the, so the, this sort of begs the question, what if I didn't actually generate another file with the underscore? Okay, so step number two to try and solve this problem. I have the thing here. Now I'm going to render it again. Uh, now i got to come over to here. I'm going to send it to my render queue. Okay, it's got the underscore one. What if I just say, yeah, dude, ignore that underscore one. Overwrite it, replace it, yes, I want to, and then I hit render, but see, After Effects comes back with this little shag nasty here that says, yeah, 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 that file's being used somewhere else. I can't record over it. Okay, so all that's like way, way not cool. So here's my trick. The trick I want to show you is this. What I do in my anim renders folder, and this is the place where I target all of my renders, I'm going to make a folder, and I've been calling it render to here, okay? And I do that in case somebody else, you know, says, uh, what? Okay, so render to here. Now what I'm going to do is come back to the After Effects. I'm going to send a guy to the render queue. Now see, it's already done this because it knows there's a file there. But I'm going to say, no, don't output it to this folder. I'll put it to this folder. Now, at this point, I can take the underscore one off. Now, what does this do for me? Well, what it does is it gives me, um, I like to think of it as a safe place to render to. So now when I hit render, boy, did you ever think you'd watch a, a, a demo where somebody renders something three times, the exact same thing? So now when I render it and I step out to the finder, it's like, oh, here's the file that Final Cut is actually referencing. Here's the file that I just rendered, okay? Now, how when I step back into the final cut, it's got the bad one. It's got the one that, you know, it, the lines are too close and it doesn't have the shadow and it's not quite opaque enough. So here's the deal. Now watch this. I have the file is here. I go out to the finder. Okay, now when I drag this out to the root of this folder, what it does is it comes up with this dialog box. Keep, stop, replace. 
Yeah, see, the finder doesn't care that this file is being used by another application. After Effects kind of like checks, you know, checks what's going on and goes, yeah, no, we shouldn't re record over that. But the finder will let you do that. So I hit boom. Now, watch this. When I toggle into Final Cut, watch the program monitor. It changes. It automatically updates. It gives me my shadow, it makes it a little darker, and it separates the lines. Now, I got to say, Premiere Pro, dynamic linking, After Effects, way, way, way cool. I will, I will not take that away. But I like cutting in Final Cut Pro for a lot of reasons. This is, eh, for lack of a better term, I'll call it the poor man's dynamic link. And the beauty of this now is I can say, oh, these are actually really easy things to change. So if I come into here and I realize that actually, you know, the dragon is not in South Carolina, it's in North Carolina, and I render this guy one more time, see now it doesn't add the underscore one because it's going to the render here folder. So I hit render, it's gonna come out one more time, it's gonna properly ID the dragon as North Carolina. Now, when I come over here, it still says South because I haven't stopped in the finder yet. Here's the new one in the render to here, drag it out to the root, hit replace, watch the program, and it magically changes to North. So anyway, that's my render to here trick for After Effects. And actually, this works with Final Cut Pro, works with, um, it basically works with, I think, most applications. And it's also very similar to my um, fast bullet points demo. So you might want to check that one out too. All right. Uh, thanks for listening. Later.